Okay, this is for uh, all tutors uh, on how to use the one-to-one uh, -one, um, spreadsheet system. Uh, essentially, this is where you are going to be able to look at the one-to-one uh, -one data that any of the students have created uh, from the original survey and then actually start looking through uh, their individual responses. Um, this spreadsheet is essentially the same for years 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. Um, obviously it's a different spreadsheet but the format is very similar so I'm looking at the year 8 one at the moment but they're all very similar they will all have um, a different number of questions and obviously different content but the actual process is the same so when you actually uh, click on the link to go to the uh, spreadsheet uh, and how you'll find that I'll just go up to uh, the portfolio page here so this is the tutor group portfolios page we know how to receive how to get to that so the portfolios tutor group portfolios and it takes you to this page um, all the years have uh, under the tutor section here they have a link to the um, survey results so they've all got that so this is year 8 this one's year 9 uh, linked to the survey results year 10 will also have one on there so we'll just go back to the survey now okay so this is how it works all the responses come in onto the first tab uh, don't worry about the different changing colours, it's not particularly important, it's just the way, I, the way that I filter it. You'll then have a set of tabs that go off these separate spreadsheets with your name on. So you can actually use these to, to look at your students' data. I sort all the responses out into individual tutor groups, so it's nice and straightforward for you. If I just go to my tab, this is from year 8. So in one stripe of information, you can see I've frozen these as well, I've frozen the top row and um, five columns so all the ID information remains there as you scroll across. So in one scroll of information you can see all the comments that the students have placed in there and then it gives you the opportunity to place a teacher comment in here. It doesn't have to be massive, it's basically straightforward pertinent information as a result of the uh, conversation that they have with the student. Um, the easiest way to do this is just basically do it as you go along. If you try and leave it to the end and do a big write-up, it's a big hassle. If you just do it bit by bit, it's just very straightforward. The key thing at the end here, there's two columns. There's a teacher comments column and then there's the am I concerned about the student column. This is essentially for you to record are you, are you concerned about them or not. If you want to write another little comment why you're concerned about them, you're very welcome to do so. Uh, this is essentially for deputy head of year and head of year to have a quick look down and see if there's any students uh, of particular concern. What would be useful after you've done your one-to-one -one is do a very quick email and just summarise um, any students of concern that you have to your head of year. Um, this system seems to work really well. This was the year eight one. Some great comments on here. I know I'm looking at mine, but you can look at some other ones. Let's have a look at Joe's here. There's some super comments on here. Um, all sorts of bits and pieces, nice and straightforward and Joe's actually even added another little little box in there as well so feel free to change any of the formatting if you want to change the column widths you know feel free to do so all I would ask is that you don't remove any data okay um, any problems as ever just send me an email and I'll help you out